Welcome back to the TransQX7 series of videos. Look in the description below for a link to it. Now it's time to calibrate our channel endpoints. I highly recommend doing this, not only because it gives you better flight performance, but also because if you don't, some crazy things could happen depending on how you have your ESC set up, as well as other parameters. I've already got a USB connected to my flight controller. Hey JC, welcome back. Let's power this on and go into beta flight. Then go to receiver, move your sticks around, make sure that you are connected, and we are. First things first, if we look at RC deadband and y'all deadband, they both come at zero as a default. What this is for is getting rid of, well, there's a long explanation, but basically you want to look for your jitter, and this is one reason why I like Free Sky receivers. They're my favorite. I mean, there's many more reasons, but if we look at the jitter, we see y'all and throttle is barely fluctuating between one to two digits. So I'm going to take the most jitter that I see, and in this case it's just one, and then I'm, I'm going to add two to that. So I'll set my RC deadband to three, as well as the y'all deadband, and then click save. I have had some other receivers from other brands that will fluctuate between four or five. So in, let's say it is fluctuating between four, I would add two to that for a total of six. Now the trans, press the menu button, and then page over to outputs. So let's do roll first because it's first on the list. If we move our roll, we'll see this number increasing and decreasing. See, it's not moving on channel three, not moving on channel four. It's barely moving on channel two, but that's because that's pitch. So we know that channel one is roll. So press enter, then edit. You don't have to name this, but I'm going to do it just because this is a tutorial. And then once we press the exit button, we see channel 1 is now called roll. Now we want to make sure our sticks are centered, at least roll. So just give it a little tap and try to make it center. And we see roll is actually centered right on 1500. And because of that, we will not have to change the PPM center. If it does not center, then you can move this up and down, and if you look on the screen, the center for roll is changing. So change PPM center first until you get right on 1500. Now let's go to min, press enter, and we want to move the roll all the way to the left, which is going to be the minimum value, and holding it there, we will scroll this wheel until we get right at 1000. So we're right on 1000, if I move over to the right again, we're still on a thousand, move to the right again, still a thousand, and then move right a fourth time, it now hits 1001. So I am going to go back to 1998 and then move to the right once to put it on a thousand because I would rather be closer to 1998 and a thousand than a thousand and a thousand one. So we're, we're going for the minimum here. Then press enter. Now move the stick to the right and move over to max and do the same thing. Except this time we're going to round up. Okay, so we're on 2001. If I move to the left, we go to 2000, left again, still 2000, left again, and now 1998. But I want to round up, so I will go to 2001 and then go to the left one time, and there we go. So there's my magic numbers. Your numbers might vary depending on your receiver. And we're done with roll. So let's back up. Go to channel 2, which is going to be pitch. You only get four characters, so you will have to abbreviate this. There we go, pitch. <laughs> I'm going to give it a couple taps, make sure it's centered. And it is centered right on 1500. So once again, I will not have to change PPM center. You might have to. Put pitch all the way down, press enter, scroll the wheel until we get, it's going to be just like last time. So I'm going to round down, go to, to 1998, then click it once, and now we're on 1000. So press enter to save it there. Now push the pitch all the way up and do the same. Now let's back out, and we see that uh, 
My minimum and max are both the same exact numbers. This is a sign of really good gimbals, and these gimbals should be good. I, I, not good gimbals, but new gimbals. They're not worn out at all. Uh, but like I said, they should because this transmitter is brand freaking new. I haven't even used it yet. And I'll just do the same thing for your throttle and yaw, and I'm going to fast forward the video now. Okay, I'm done, and I actually got the same numbers for the minimum and maximum on all channels. But like I said before, this just means that the gimbals are still brand new. I haven't worn them out any. Uh, now let's check it in uh, Betaflight. So if I move all the sticks to the minimum, which is going to be to the bottom left, we see they go to uh, a thousand on the dot. If I center them all, then we should be right on 1500. And if I go all the way to the max, we're sitting at exactly 2000. As you use your transmitter more and more and the gimbals begin to wear out more, then you want to come back and check just every now and then because you may have to uh, adjust these numbers as the gimbals wear out. Now you can do the same thing for your other channels and auxiliaries, but I never do. There's really no reason because whenever you go to modes, I mean as long as as long as this little bar is making it inside this big bar, and I mean you can adjust this big bar to wherever you want. Um, so I guess what I'm trying to say is that there's really no point in calibrating the other channels, only your sticks. That's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.